Hey guys, thank you for joining me for this week's reading. I will be working with the spellcasting oracle. As always, these are general readings, so the readings may or may not resonate with you. Wow, the cards want to really talk. Um, okay, I'll take this one and I'll take these two. That's fine. So we have four cards today, guys. So let's start. Okay, guys, um, the first card we have is prosperity beautiful card with this card i feel like spirit wants you to know that you are a powerful manifester you are a master manifester and you can create whatever you want in your life for some this is literally a stream of income these are like coins i don't know if you guys can see clearly but it's like Coins are, gold coins are pouring down. That's what this image is all about. Like she's opened up a portal and all these gold coins are pouring down. So for some, you're gonna, you, you are headed in that direction. And for some, you're gonna tap into an opportunity, which is literally like this, okay? Like you've, you've hit gold. That's, that's what I feel with this card. Like. So let me just tune into this further. Right, so what Spirit is showing me is that everything is energy, right? Everything is energy. And when you believe that you deserve prosperity, when you believe that you deserve happiness, when you believe that you deserve uh, you know, money, just like everything else, money is again energy. But sometimes we have these thought forms and these beliefs of lack that come from maybe you, you always saw your parents struggle for money or maybe you always saw people around you struggle for money and that is what your belief is that you know if my parents struggle that means I need to struggle or life is like that or those conclusions were kind of drawn in into your psyche as a child because that's what you saw that's what you believed and that became your truth but now it's like you are understanding that everything in universe is energy and you can attract abundance easily into your life and that is your divine birthright okay second card we have is healing this is so so beautiful i love this deck for those who are wondering what deck this is like i mentioned earlier it's a spell casting oracle beautiful cards i really love it so um yeah the second card is healing and she has a green candle lit some of you are healers you are healing not only yourself but your lineage you are healing your uh, you know the karmic lineage whatever ancestral patterns were not dealt with by your ancestors or couldn't they couldn't deal it with it for some reason it's like you are clearing those patterns now and you know a lot of times healing and prosperity are interrelated they are tied together right because if you when you start working on yourself when you start healing all aspects of yourself you automatically become a magnet for abundance okay so this is just a validation now the third card we have is freedom very interesting card this woman is in a cage and there is there is a dove flying above her and a dragonfly inside the cage okay so let me see what i'm getting intuitively from this card see what i'm getting from this cage is belief systems that hold you back thought forms that hold you back okay restrictions that hold you back and those things may have worked for you in the past but 
you know it's like you can give yourself freedom you can step out of it and sometimes you know what i'm getting with this is it's your own fears it's your own negative thinking it's your own patterns of repeatedly thinking a certain way so guys this is what i do is sometimes you know when i'm thinking in a in, when i'm in a negative loop i just become conscious of it and i tell myself just stop just stop and i'm going to divert my attention i'm going to focus on something else i try to be creative and that really helps me drawing connecting with my inner child healing stepping outside in nature all these things really help me to come out of this you know negative pattern okay what else for some you know you feel you feel trapped you may feel trapped in a situation or you feel like i can be all of myself because of this person i can do all that i want to do because of you know uh, whatever the society's restrictions are or the religious restrictions are or this or that or whatever it is for you but i'm also getting that spirit is sending you lots of signs you may see see birds I don't know why I'm even drawn to this dragonfly here. So you may see dragonfly in pictures, especially with the weather changing. You may not see a dragonfly right now, but you may see it in pictures, in a movie or whatever. You may see it somewhere in a magazine or something. Again, these are signs. And I'm uh, getting from spirit that it's time that you, you spread your wings. It's time to claim all of who you are and give that freedom to yourself rather than waiting for someone else to give you that freedom. A lot of times we are waiting for someone to come save us, for someone to come approve of us, to someone to tell us, uh, you know, to validate us so that we can do or we can go a certain way. But we, we can't, can't you be that savior for yourself this card is saying be that savior for yourself give that freedom to yourself the thing that you are waiting for someone else to do for you do it for yourself give yourself permission to be okay now lastly interestingly we have forgiveness so for many of us you know, things from the past may be coming up. People that you feel did, did you wrong, you may be thinking about them or you may feel like this was unjust or this was unfair or whatever it is. And you see her standing by the water. And guys, that's, <clears throat> excuse me, that's exactly what I've been doing. I go for nature walks because I really like connecting with nature. But most importantly, I really like connecting with water streams of water and this is what i feel and this is what i do is when i see a stream or something i go close to it and i set the intention that it takes away all my negative thoughts it takes away all the negativity that i may be holding on to and it clears my energy and i actually i can feel that water the spirits of the water working through me and cleansing and i will stand there and i will actually feel the vibrations in, in my body and i'm always thankful for the water to to do that so you know this is very similar she's standing by this water and you see all this light coming in what i'm getting is the more you release the past okay yes it hurts but guys you know what you have to give yourself the freedom not to be stuck in that cage because when we hold unforgiving thoughts we are actually keeping ourselves caged and stuck to those past situations so you're not doing anyone a favor but you're doing yourself a big favor by setting yourself free and we must all believe that you know this uh, universe is balanced not that we are seeking karma or we are waiting for anyone to get their karma guys that's not good too keep your energy clear keep your energy pure keep because um, as a channel this is what I've learned from spirit our heart our hearts are like a portal the more clear this portal is 
the more clear a channel you will be, especially if you're a healer, especially if you're a psychic. You cannot hold on to, this was done wrong to me, that was done wrong to me, you know, I'm gonna keep tabs, I'm gonna keep, no, that's, that's not the way it is, okay? I'm not saying don't acknowledge what was done wrong to you, do acknowledge, do grieve it. If you want to grieve it, that's absolutely fine. But don't hold on to any of these energies because know that you can create a portal for yourself. Move forward into that portal. You see this card? And it's all tying up now with these cards. I can see it's almost like I'm going backwards with these cards. But yeah, you see how this portal of energy you become that energy where you attract it's not only about money where you attract love you attract um, abundance you attract relationships which are in alignment with your truth which are in alignment with your vibration okay it comes from healing and healing always starts with yourself forgiving yourself forgiving yourself for even the things that you feel you have done wrong letting it go releasing it giving yourself that freedom not being caged you know like this being like this dove free light allowing more light to come in on the bottom of the card of the deck we have happiness i love this and i love butterflies so you see this again such a lot of energy swirling around her it's like it's you know what i'm getting with this card it's almost like spirit wants to reward you spirit wants to show you something better and you know it's so easy to get distracted and i'll tell you guys something that happened this morning someone texted me saying you know on instagram on Instagram, I don't know if you guys are aware, but I've been hit by scammers one after the other. There are people that are copying and pretending to be me, reaching out to people, asking out for readings, whatever. But this morning again, I got a message that someone else is again pretending and kind of copying. So, you know, I looked at it and I was like, okay, you know what, but I'm not going to give in to that energy. I'm not going to put my focus on that energy. I just simply blocked that person and I was like, no, I'm not going to give any energy to this because I want to focus on my path because I want to create my happiness. I want to create joy, fulfillment in my life and anything that causes a distraction from what I want to create for myself that just, I just don't want to put my focus there. So that was a choice. That was a choice that I made in this moment that I want to be present and no matter what happens, happens. But I want to be in this present moment and I want to focus on my joy because I know that my joy, my uh, vibration creates whatever I want to create. And I don't want to focus on fear. I don't want to focus on lack. I don't want to focus on the fact that someone's copying or pretending to be me. Then if that's the best that they can do, then be it. If copying me makes them feel better about themselves, then be it. I'm fine with that. So what I'm saying is, you know, you guys are on a good path and give yourself that freedom. Give yourself, you know, step out of whatever it is your limitations are. For some, I'm getting, you are getting the guidance to do something new. You are getting the guidance to start something new. You must give yourself this freedom. You must give yourself this permission let go of people who have hurt you let go of things that have hurt you do a release ritual we have the full moon right guys so this is the perfect time to do a release ritual if you don't want to do like write things down on a piece of paper and burn it sometimes sorry guys my nose gets super itchy when i'm connecting with spirit sometimes this happens so please forgive me if i keep rubbing my nose it's because of this <laughs> reason so the other thing is if you, you can do a release ritual by writing things down that are weighing you and basically burn it safely. That's one of the ways. Or, you know, just like I do, stand by a flowing stream or a lake or whatever is close to your place and just stand and set the intention. And you will actually, if you tune into that energy, you will actually feel, you know, it clearing you and just remember to thank 
the spirits of nature for doing their work. So, but at the end of the day, guys, this is a beautiful card. We have happiness, okay? And you are transforming, you are shifting, you are changing, and good things are coming, okay? So just trust the process. I also saw the justice card. So this shows me, this is like spirit's validation. Any situation that you feel in your life was unfair, that was not done right. It's not you, It's not up to you to find that balance. It's up to you to leave it in the hands of God, in the hands of spirit, in the hands of the higher power. Because spirit is saying justice will be served. Just follow your bliss. Don't wish anyone bad. Don't do anything you know, don't do these. There's a lot of negative energy, guys, uh, in the world right now. And with everything going, let's be the ones who bring in light. Let's be the ones who focus on the light. You know, not only within ourselves, but also create that light for others. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next week. Bye for now.